This is going to be so, so loud. So loud. So loud. <laughs> so loud, dude. I'm not kidding. Are you looking at me? Alright hey guys, today we, we want to make a couple of fidget spinners, or these two boys want to make a couple of fidget spinners. And so I'm here to help them, uh, just spend a little bit of time in the shop. This is a reward for good school work, and so we're kind of late to the game with the fidget spinner thing. Uh, but they've been wanting one for quite some time, and so this is a reward for them. Uh, but, uh, you know, we also get to spend a little time in the shop together and just making something. Uh, so we've got the bearings, uh, I ordered the bearings, and also ordered the center caps uh, for the bearings that were 3D printed. Uh, so we've got those. Now we're just gonna take a piece of wood and just uh, wing it. We don't have a template or anything. Uh, so we're just gonna draw out what we think we want and just see what we end up with. So you guys, are y'all ready to make a fidget spinner? Yes. Huh? Yes. Are yes. you sure? I'm sure. All right. Or something like that, JT? Red, red is not yes, cool. Doggy, just like that. Okay. I want one like that too. Now we're just making this up as we go. Do we have enough bearings for Daxton? Yeah. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to just do a rough drawing. Okay. And we can come back and shape it up later. Okay, so that's basically what we're looking at, okay? And so those holes are, are where the bearings are going to go. And we're going to take it over here to the drill press, and Daddy's going to drill. You can, help, you can help me do the drill press and so drill these holes out. And then once we drill those holes out, then we're gonna shape it out. we can cut it. Yes, sir. Okay, so we got the holes drilled, and these are the, the shapes that you guys want. So Daddy's gonna try to cut these out on the bandsaw as best I can, and then we can shape them on the sander to kind of get that shape that you want, okay? And then, I don't know, we'll figure that out afterwards. But after we sand it down and get the shape, then we can glue these in. And then after we glue those in, we can put the finish on it and then put your caps on it and then you'll be done.
Your shirt. All right, so it's going to stink pretty good. Okay. You smell it? That stinks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it smells like dog poop. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It doesn't stink. What that is doing is just epoxy and a little bit no. all around Not and this is just really good super glue basically okay why do you say basically because basically what it is You know what this process is called, guys? What? What are what are y'all what are you guys doing? Putting oil on a Alright, you're putting oil on it. What is that? I mean what is it called? This is the finishing process, huh? Yeah? This is where the beauty comes into the wood. You bring out all the grain and everything. Yeah, and, and then that darkness comes in there. You what? It makes that darkness come in there and makes it alive. Makes it brings the darkness out on the grain and makes it come alive. Is that what you said? That's no, what it, it does. No, it puts the darkness in there to make it look nicer and prettier. That's right. Yeah, it brings the grain out. The action you're getting your, the edges on yours. Let me see. Let me see it. Give me my edges real good. But I still gotta get it's gonna look very good. Very yeah. good. It's gonna look pretty. Now these caps are 3D. They're print. They're 3D printed. What does that mean? They were printed on a uh, with a computer. Mine does good, JT. Look, Daddy's showing. Showing, Daddy. I got mine too. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's All right guys, so we are finished with the fidget spinners and I think they came out pretty good. Um, that looks like they're having fun with them. So I just wanna encourage all of you to just get out there in the shop and make something with somebody that is probably, you know, maybe new to woodworking or a young person, um, even a child or, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, so we just, we didn't have a plan today. We just had a, uh, a good time in the shop. And so uh, I just wanna thank you for watching the video and we'll see you next time.